but that's something that I would do mindfully. I would try to always, if I'm just drawing this straight up without using markers, I would definitely try to like hit a bone here and, or hit a pivot here and then skip over this pivot and make the next one. So it's just something to keep in mind, even if you don't have the option of using this very straight grid kind of setup, okay? All right, so now what I'm going to do is the relationship that I'm going to build, I'm going to constrain these rotation, constrain these bones to the following set. And so I'm going to just kill the visibility of this. And I know this is a little hard to see, the green, but it should be okay. I don't know if... Uh, I could make it a darker green or change the color. Maybe I'll do that and just go with my convention of um, uh, green on the bottom. Maybe I'll make it a little darker green so you can see. Let's add some value there. And go here and add a little bit of a yellow, darker yellow. Oops, no, I'm on the same ball. Okay, green. Then go to the mid bone. And add like a darker yellow. Anything, just just to uh, make it a little bit more visually interesting. Or just that we can uh, decipher between the two. Okay, we can see that just a little bit better. This light blue is, is a little light. Okay, so what I'm going to do is match these bones, let's say here, to the top two and four down here and then average them out between that. I said that rather quickly because I want to show you something else. When you create a bone, we want to remember to try to keep our numerics and our bones very clean. So if you look here, what you will see is that I have 180 degrees here. And I have the, the good 90 degrees here. And then I have on the following bone, 0, 0, 0, because they're parented to this one. And so bones seem to understand bones very, very well. You know, they, they understand the numerics. They follow the numerics between the other bone. And so, um, so it gives a nice uh, even number on the following bone. But this first bone has all kind of weird numbers on it, okay? It has the first 90, which we talked about. So that would actually, if we put, it was like 87. It wasn't really that perfect. And then this is a 180. So I want to flip that around because I want it to be a zero, okay? Uh, and I want to make sure that it's not moving backwards or anything like that, okay? And so that's pretty good there. And just for the sake of it, I'll just put a zero there. Okay. Now, here's the thing. And I, I'll save that out. And just to make this a little bit um, more understandable, is that we had that strange value there. And we have this one, just this perfect value here. But... I guarantee you, Electric Image does a few things for you to make life easier. But in this case, if we start constraining these bones to here, there's probably some other rotations inherently in these bones that I'll, even though they're not showing up here, they're probably in here. And if I, and if I actually unlink these, you will see that it has bones here. Now, again, we have this beautiful hierarchy and it's really nice and we have this nice numeric values uh, and we have the bones from one to zero but if I start to unlink these like here what you'll probably see is that we got all kind of numbers in here and so what I would really like to do is just take them out and rearrange this so that we know for sure like and and they're not consistent either so the first bone was like 180. 
So that had flipped. And that's probably because we turned the other one around. And then the next bone was uh, like four minus four. And so we have all these little numbers in here that, you know, probably here's a minus 180. What was that one? That was a minus, that was a 180. And so we have all these numbers in here that more than likely they will cause us problems. So, uh, now minus 180. So when we constrain the rotations on here, we're going to just get goobly gob, you know. So we want to clean this out. Now, I don't usually do this. I usually go ahead with it, but I'm just, you know, take my mark, take my words. It, it'll probably just be better if we get rid of it. So we're just going to go through it quickly. Put that in there. We're not going to mess with the uh, rotations. But just go ahead and just clean this out, make this 90. And just so that we'll have the peace of mind and we'll just know that all our numerics are clean and the same. And that's just when possible. It's like you're not, you won't be able to do it all the time. But if possible, if it'll make our life easier, you know, this little extra step will probably be worth it in the long run. Okay? So. And then I'll know for sure that all the values in these are the exact same. Okay? So I saved it. And now I'll go back and relink them. thing is is that we have the same numbers so it's easy oops I'm not very careful am I and number eight and so now now even though they are parented we do know that at least even and, and you notice that the the 90 degrees that we had is gone because it takes the the actual values from the first one so even though this one has 90 the rest of them considers it, itself to be zero okay and and the same thing with this one you know we're gonna let's go ahead and just park it because we know that that number is really just an arbitrary number that it puts there just to make it look good. Okay, so now we'll save it. So now when we start to constrain this again, that we know that we do have the right numbers. Okay, and okay, so, so now, once again, we're going to go back and start to build relationships between these and the way we're going to do it is by um, constraint rotating rotation constraining the first four to this one the lower and the mid and we're going to wait between those and we're going to take the top four and constrain those between the mid and the high and we can literally go here and just take the top four and and go ahead and go to rotation constraint click OK because it gives you a warning and let's do it by hitting the mid first and then the lower second and what that'll do and hit cancel we're done is what that'll do is we'll have a relationship positionally in the interface because the first one is the one that it puts on the top um, 